So here we are getting into the boat, getting ready to go over to the San Blas Islands. We're going to Carti Tupile Island, and this is President Forsberg getting into the boat. And the next person getting in is one of the missionaries who is serving on, on the island. On the island, yeah. And he came, and his companion came to get us to get on the boat and go over to the island. And on his way over to meet us, uh, he, the people on the boat actually got busted for drugs. And that's why he's talking to this cop right now. The cop is asking him for his identification. And he's saying he doesn't have his identification, that he left his identification on the island. But he's asking him because they just had a drug bust about 10 minutes earlier. Yeah, and he was on that boat that had a drug bust. So the two missionaries were. So, yeah, he's explaining to him why he's so over there. I had to turn the camera <laughs> off. And then here we are leaving. Yeah, getting ready to get out there. We're excited. So we had to get up at 5 a.m. to drive two and a half hours to get to the boat. And then the boat is about 15 minutes. I just right. want to I want to make a comment about that bag that that guy just threw on the bow of the boat. That's actually a pig head in the bag. Yeah, he's taking it to the island. And then you'll see it when it spins around again. But all those black bags are clothes that we're taking to the children on the island. See, now you can see that. That bag that's on the bow of the boat, that's a pig head. <laughs> yeah, it, that's just what it was, pig head. And then, this is just kind of some of the boat ride. I thought it was kind of fascinating that that guy's standing on the bow like that. He's, the, he's actually the worker. There's a guy in the back that's operating the engine, and then the guy in the front, I'm not sure exactly what his job is, just to stand there and navigate, I guess. And the water was a little rough. We were getting a little bit wet. Yeah. It was coming up on us. It was really windy that day. <clears throat> yep. And then there's some more islands you'll be able to see here soon as we're driving by. Oh, there we are again. We have the sound turned down <laughs> from the video because there was a lot of wind. Yeah, very windy. I, I didn't think you wanted to listen to all that wind. So we are driving to the closest island, or riding, yeah, to the closest island. Cardi is Tupele it? is the closest island, and it's about a 15-minute boat ride. Yeah, about 15 minutes. Uh, yeah. It took about three hours to get to the point where you get on the boat from our house. So we left our house and you go down this really primitive dirt road. You actually have to go onto an Indian reservation. They call it a, a comarca. It's an Indian reservation. And they check your passport and everything as you're going through into the Indian reservation. And then, um, anyway, it was a pretty primitive dirt road with lots, well, it's mostly paved, but there's a lot of big potholes and it was really slow going and windy and you kind of get motion sickness. But anyway, that's what it took to get there. And the other two missionaries that we have with us are the APs. So they're coming to the zone conference. Yep. And then there's a picture of Romano Gutierrez. You can see his hand right there in the video. He is over all the seminary and institute uh, program in Panama. That's Romano Gutierrez right there. And here we're kind of on a sailboat. We had two other uh, passengers with us that were from Canada, and that is their sailboat. So we are dropping them off yeah, they, on that beautiful sailboat. <laughs> they sailed all, we're on the Caribbean side of Panama, yeah. and they sailed all the way from Vancouver, Canada. Yeah. So. And here's the island we're coming up to that we're going to be getting off on. Now notice that that island doesn't have any like beautiful Caribbean beaches like what you would imagine. Um, all the houses are right up to the shoreline, so there's really no beach to speak of, because it's so crowded. You yeah. can you can just see you can just see how the the huts kind of go right up to the shoreline all the way around the island. The island's not very big at all. Later on in the video, we're going to walk across the island, and it takes about five minutes to walk across the whole thing. Yeah. So here we're almost getting ready to get off and pulling up to the side and and gonna be hanging out for the day on this island. Yep, this is the boat dock. And they do have boats that run from island to island. There's twelve missionaries on um, six islands and they all met on this island today for a zone conference. And this is the picture of the village. 
and then Becky with the with the kids, and they they loved her because they're not used to seeing her manas. They're not used to seeing the sisters on the so island. Cute. <laughs> So here we are in the chapel and this is our zone conference and underneath us is the water so that's pretty cool and um, we get to have a little bit of breeze in there. This is a picture of the church building over the water. The chapel is on the right and the classrooms are on the left. This is a picture of the hallway leading to the bathrooms which is also over the water. You can kind of see the sunlight and the water through the planks. This picture shows the toilet with just a hole that just drops down into the ocean, into the water. This is Elder Medina, he's the AP. Here you can see the water underneath in between the planks and we're getting ready to leave. Yeah, zone conference just got over and we're getting ready to we were supposed to go to a baptism, but then it ended up not being able to go. So we're just going to be walking through the village back to the boat here in a minute. But this is, yeah, this is the chapel here. And then Dave's going to walk through the doors. Yeah, we're walking through because the missionaries still have to pick up their stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and then here in a, in a second here, you're going to hear Elder Gatlin uh, play the, the uh, shell. He's going to play a shell. He's going to blow into it. Yeah. So that's this part right here. Yeah. All right, so here we are still on this other side of the building and the, we wanna, all the classrooms. We want to show you what the classrooms look like. And there's no electricity here, so there's no ceiling fans. You'll see light bulbs, but they all run off batteries and solar panels, but there's no, no ceiling fans. Yeah, so here's you know, all the classrooms, and see how you can't be too loud because you, just, you could disrupt each classroom with no doors, but <laughs> you gotta have that breeze come in, otherwise it'd be too hot. So here's all the missionaries that serve on San Blas Islands, plus the APs, and a few other of us that were there. And President de Forsberg, Hermano Gutierrez, and then you'll see us on the ends of the picture. Yeah, good group of missionaries. And here we are leaving the chapel. We're getting ready to go back. There's a school next door, their school. Yep, the school. There's the outside of the church building with the church sign on the front there. And now we're going to start walking through the village. Yeah, back to the boat. And we just kind of wanted to show you what it looks like as you walk through. We're, we're literally walking from one side of the island to the other. Because the boat dock and the church building are on opposite sides. Yeah, so, so we are walking through, chatting with the missionaries. and I didn't really want to um, move the camera around too much because I didn't want to invade anybody's privacy. So... For the most part, I just kept the camera straight, but you'll see me peek in every now and then. Yeah, this is how their houses are here on this island. It's like the greenery, it's so pretty. But this is how they live. It's very primitive. Most, I think all of them have dirt floors as far as I know. You can see kind of the, the bamboo framework on that roof. There's a little bit of concrete and masonry work, but it's mostly just sticks. And if you notice, most of the missionaries wear either like Crocs or flip-flops for the islands because otherwise they'd have really wet shoes. Yeah, so now we're almost to the boat dock, I think. And then right, right here I'm going to say goodbye to somebody. Hey, yeah. Ciao, hermano! Yeah. Ciao! So this is the boat dock, and I just wanted to say something about that yellow wooden structure right there. That's actually the bathroom to that house. 
And it, there again, it's just a hole that goes over the water. Hola. Como esta, hermana? Bien. Esa es mi mamá de Sobeida. ¿Usted qué? ¿Qué dijo? Oh, la mamá de Sobeida. Sí. Oh, de Sobeida? Oh, okay. Está en Panamá. Oh, oh es para Panamá. Sí. Okay. Qué bien. Y vi gala. La niña se va a Estados Unidos a estudiar. Oh, en serio. Ella tiene reunión allá en Panamá. ¿Fue a Panamá para estudiar? No, a Estados Unidos. Entonces, Después ella, Sobeida, es un miembro muy, muy fuerte en la iglesia. Ah. Y su hija va a Panamá a estudiar. Ah, ok. Entonces, están preparando en la ciudad, ¿verdad? ¿Usted es la abuela entonces? Sí. Ah, qué bien. ¿Usted vive con su vida? Sí. Ok. Y vive This woman is a member of the church that lives on the island, and it was difficult for me to understand what she was saying, but she was saying that either her daughter, or I think more likely her granddaughter, uh, won an academic scholarship to attend school in Florida in the United States. So that, that's pretty amazing. Bueno. Lo haré. Chico, ¿ustedes, ¿ustedes quieren estar en mi video? Sí. Ah, qué bien. Ah, oh, yeah. Muy, muy guapo. Sí. Guapo. Sí. <laughs> And this is us on the way back. Good times. When we got to the boat dock, this boat was already here. That's not the one we went on. But I just want you to, I want you to notice the flag for a second. The flag has a swastika on it, but on the Indian reservation, that's the Indian reservation flag. And to them, it represents peace. So that's the end of our San Blas video. I'm getting better at my video editing skills, but um, there, you can see there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. But we hope that you like the video. Yeah, we, we enjoyed this day and, and we're enjoying getting to know different people in Panama and it's just a beautiful place and, and that the gospel is true everywhere you go. We love you all. We miss you all. We miss you all. And ciao till next time. Ciao till next time. Adios amigos. Keep the faith.